Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Veronica and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you. In this reading, we will take a look into your past life. So who were you in your past life? What kind of life you used to have? And what is connecting you in this current life with your previous life, with your past life? And what kind of lessons you're supposed to learn in this lifetime that you did not learn in your previous lifetime? I already recorded this reading and this video guys is definitely different than the ones that I usually record and usually put on this channel so let me know after watching this reading if you want me to make similar content if you enjoy it and what are your thoughts on it as always thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting me on this channel let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys would like to see in this channel and without further ado let's just go to the card selection and I'll see you in your reading all right guys so this is your card selection this is the group number one group number two group number three and group number four as always take as much time as you need to select your pile focus on the inflow and outflow of your breath for a while that will let you calm your mind and connect with your intuition whatever pile is standing out to you the most that is going to be a group for you I'm going to give you a second to choose your pile right now. Please feel free to pause the video right now if you need more time. If you already selected your pile, the timestamps are in the description box. Just click on it and then I'll see you in your reading. Hey, group number one, if you chose this card, this is your reading and let's find out who were you in your past life. Okay, group number one. So we will be talking about what kind of life you had in your past life, what was happening in your life, anything that maybe um, was very significant in your past life that might be repeating itself uh, in your life at the moment <laughs> in this lifetime for you so first of all with the lovers card guys i feel like this is saying that in the past life you have had a lot of lovers maybe you have been married a couple of times it's really giving me the vibes that you were you did not only have one relationship or uh, one serious relationship it really makes me feel like you guys had a lot of maybe um spouses uh, I also say that because we got the parenting card so this is definitely telling us that you used to be a parent in the previous life I wonder if it's um, maybe uh, because of that maybe you guys don't feel like you want to commit in this lifetime with the lover's card um, or that you don't want to have children because it makes me feel like in the previous life life guys you used to do a lot of things for everyone it feels like um, you definitely were full of full of life with the card that you guys chose which is embracing enthusiasm it's definitely telling me that you guys were very enthusiastic um, and you had really big dreams and really big goals with the knight of wands it makes me feel like you guys were everywhere uh, you were trying out a lot of different things that's why probably you used to have a lot of uh, spouses or a lot of lovers. Um, but I do see that in your previous life, there was definitely a sense of dissatisfaction with your life, even though um, I do think you had a good life. However, it makes me feel like you used to have to put on a good face, even though smiling face even though you were not doing so good um, with the card tears of joy and sadness makes me feel like you were really good at pretending that you were happy so maybe that's another thing that um, might be repeating in this lifetime or you feel like it's natural to you for you to pretend very often uh, about um, you know your emotions your feelings I am sensing that in the previous life you were happy with your life but at the same time there was a lot of burden on your shoulders with the ten of wands and with the parenting card maybe you used to have um, 
a lot of children as well because you had a lot of different uh, spouses I mean a lot I'm saying a lot what I mean is like maybe two maybe three it makes me feel like you have been uh, you definitely remarried a couple of times in your previous life and that's why maybe in this lifetime you don't want any serious relationship or you at least don't want um, to get married. I feel like you guys might be the group that don't really care about marriage. Um, maybe you do care about being, being with someone but you also makes me feel like you also want this relationship to be more open. You don't want such a, a serious commitment because it feels like in your previous life you didn't have as much freedom as you wanted to have because of the fact as I said that you had to just carry a lot of burden you had a lot on your plate there were there were a lot of um, you had a lot of responsibilities in your previous life with this ten of wands card and you wanted to embrace the knight of wands energy more than, than the ten of wands energy which tells me that you wanted to just discover life you wanted to um visit different places see different things and be with different people um but because of maybe children or because of um the commitment that you've already made uh later on in life i feel like you could not be fully satisfied with your previous life four of cups is telling me that you maybe used to not see the good in your life maybe you were actually very picky about everything and you didn't see all the great things that are in your life all the people that love you it really makes me feel like you guys just wanted more and more the age of the light card is telling me that there is um, a talent that you guys have something that comes very naturally um, to you in this lifetime um, it's because you've been training for this for lifetimes which says that which basically means that in your previous life um, you guys used to master that craft or you were basically really good at it whatever it is for you in this lifetime so whatever you guys are feeling really really good at it makes me feel like it's because you've already trained for this um, in your previous life I also see with the health card that maybe guys uh, in your previous lifetime the health of yours was not in the greatest condition mm, I feel like you could have had a lot of uh, just issues with your health maybe with your mental health or your physical health I feel like that's why you group number one might not have so much trouble with your health in this lifetime is because the universe wanted you to reincarnate into a different um different version of yourself where you don't have to deal with so much trouble with your health and give you a taste of um, a different life on this planet a different life that you can live on this planet in your previous lifetime you could have been guys um, an Aries or you could have been a Virgo so you might be Virgo or Aries in this lifetime as well or just have a lot of this in your in your chart but I also have um, in the new moon in Virgo it says a time to give rather than take so this is definitely telling me that in your previous lifetime you were there for everyone that's why as i said you maybe have to put a happy face even though you were not feeling the greatest and that's why it's so easy for you to do this in this lifetime as well um to put put on the happy face and just smile when you're not even feeling good i definitely see that there was so much motivation inspiration enthusiasm and bravery in you in your previous lifetime however something was limiting you i feel like that's why in this lifetime you guys are supposed to just achieve something bigger chase your dreams and go after your dreams i feel like that's why in this lifetime um it, some a lot of things a lot of things might be going for you very smoothly and you consider yourself yourself lucky in a lot of different areas of your life maybe you set a goal for yourself and this goal is just coming to you so so quickly and so smoothly and you're just very surprised at how easily it comes to you it's very often hard to believe believe that it's true 
I feel like the biggest lesson that you took from your previous lifetime into this lifetime is the fact that you have to show the gratitude a little bit more. You have to stop being so neutral about everything and everyone and just be more grateful for your life, for the way that ev how everything is working out for you, for your health. I feel like in this lifetime, you guys are meant to just learn how to be basically more grateful for what you have and the situation that you are in. Because very often we just look at the negative in everything and I feel like this is something that you guys uh, we're supposed to still learn in this lifetime with the seven of pentacles also this is talking about letting go of control understanding that everything comes when it's supposed to come um, setting goals for yourself but also reflecting on them uh, taking action and another thing that you guys were supposed to learn in this lifetime is to learn uh, how to be authentic and to live as the most authentic version of yourself, do think for yourself, um, not look at what other people want you to do, uh, embrace your enthusiasm, follow your dreams and not do everything for everyone but focus on yourself. Cut people out from your life that you know are not good for you, the people that are um, just not seeing your vision, not supporting your vision, uh, definitely just cut them out from your life because it feels like in your previous lifetime you could have been allowing a lot of negative toxic behavior to happen in your life and as i said you had a lot on your plate and you were allowing people to sometimes even tell you what to do or act a certain way i do think that you guys used to please a lot of people in your previous lifetime so i want to shuffle some cards um here so you guys can see it live let's say <laughs> um i want to shuffle a couple of cards and see what kind of lesson you guys were supposed are supposed to learn in this lifetime because of what has happened in your past life for group number one what are they supposed to learn in this lifetime that is connected to their previous life All right, guys, look at it. This is literally what I was seeing. I love shuffling on the camera. Okay, so manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. As I said, guys, this is the biggest lesson that you guys are suppo were supposed to learn in this lifetime. To be more appreciative. To be more grateful for what you have. And learn to be um, happy regardless of the conditions that you are currently in. Okay guys, so I know this was a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, just leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Watch one of my previous videos over here. And I do offer private readings if you want me to focus on your specific energy. The link is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye. A group number two, so if you guys chose the card Solitude, this is your reading. Let's find out what was happening in your previous life and what kind of lessons you are supposed to learn in this lifetime. All right, group number two. So you guys have a lot of cards. Um, first of all, what I'm seeing is what you're supposed to learn in this lifetime, uh, something that was connected to your past life, um, is the fact that you definitely guys have to um, be more intuitive or listen to your intuition because I do think that you guys are very intuitive in your previous life you were very intuitive as well however you were not really listening to your intuition you were not really listening to your gut feeling I feel like in your previous lifetime you guys were doing everything in a very traditional way uh, with the Hierophant that's what the Hierophant is telling me and also in a, in a very traditional way, what I mean is, uh, you know, you, you wanted to build a family, uh, you wanted to just take care of them uh, financially, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, and I do think that in your previous lifetime, you were following these kind of like rules that you set for yourself. However, it was not making you happy. I mean, I'm not saying that your entire lifetime you guys were, in your previous lifetime you were totally miserable, I don't think so. I definitely feel like you could have felt very trapped 
um, even though everything it, it looks like everything was really good for you just in general if someone you know a third person would look at your life um, or looked at your life in your previous lifetime they thought that you were very lucky they thought that um, you have everything from outside it looked all perfect but i do see with the eight of swords and also the hangman that you guys felt a little bit like trapped or like it feels like you guys were just feeling like there's some there's more things to explore or that you put yourself in that box and it's hard to get outside of that box i do see with a card that you guys chose which is the solitude card over here that you really wanted to be alone very often in your previous lifetime but you couldn't because i do see that you had a very big family and you had a lot of people that loved you around you and which was amazing However, you did feel like I want to spend some time alone, but I can't. So there was something that was just missing from your previous life um, that you are supposed to kind of like get the value, get the lesson from um, about it from your previous lifetime. And I do think that it's mostly talking about listening to your intuition in your lifetime and in this lifetime sorry um but also also the fact that it's okay to spend some time alone i feel like in this lifetime you guys are supposed to connect with your intuition more connect with your higher self and learn um how to be happy when you're on your own when you're alone it really makes me feel like in your previous life uh, you were surrounded by your family by friends by people constantly so you got really used to it and you were longing for just spending some time on your own and doing what you want to do and not having to kind of like explain yourself or you know what I mean. So it feels like in this lifetime, you might be having a hard time uh, spending time on your own. And it's something that you're supposed to learn in this lifetime. Um, how to be happy with being only with yourself. Uh, so that might be, for example, you guys really wanting to be in a relationship and feeling very bad when you're not in a relationship. Or constantly chatting your friend, uh, your friends, because you just constantly want to be in touch with someone and it's one of the habits from your previous life so i also see that in your previous life um sorry guys this reading might be a little bit all over the place i've never done a reading like this but i feel very connected and i i definitely am feeling the connection i know that um all the messages are the right messages however <laughs> it can be a little bit all over the place so uh just you know hang with me <laughs> So I do see that in your previous life, uh, with the Hierophant card, you guys could have been teachers. I do think so. You could have been teachers. Um, in this lifetime, you are supposed to do something that is more untraditional. Uh, maybe you're supposed to be, you know, work on your own. Uh, maybe be um, an artist or express yourself um in a little bit more like untraditional way or have untraditional job that could be like a youtuber you know that could be a vlogger um that could be also just living off um doing different jobs all the time traveling and getting your job um in different city every month but also as i said learning how to be happy when you're alone and doing a lot of things on your own in your previous lifetime you definitely were a leader and this is something that um, will come to you very easily in this lifetime we also have the card confidence is key to success um, so i definitely feel like you guys were very confident in your in your previous life but you had very masculine energy uh, there is nothing wrong with having masculine energy but it's important to be kind of like mixing it with your feminine energy with which is listening to your intuition listening to what your gut feeling is telling you to do and i do see i do sounds that in your previous lifetime everything had kind of like rules and you were following these rules and you were just doing everything in a very traditional way in a very analytical uh mathematical way um, I do see with a Leo and Capricorn that you could have been a Leo or Capricorn in your previous lifetime as well. And uh, you could be in Capricorn in this lifetime too. But definitely, mm, 
we have a card listening to wisdom we have a card intuition and we have the king of cups in reverse so the king of cups is a person that is extremely intuitive extremely uh in tune with himself with the emotions with the feelings he is a person that is connecting with other people's feelings very easily he's an empath so i feel like you guys used to be you know you were in your previous life empaths uh, however, you were completely ignoring that um, blessing of yours. I do think so. So I feel like it's something that you guys were supposed to experience in this lifetime and supposed to connect with more in this lifetime. Lately, you could uh, be seeing a lot of two to two. I feel like that's just a confirmation for you that, uh, that this is uh, the correct pile that you chose if you guys are seeing a lot of two to twos lately. So as I was saying with the card, um, align your life, what is not aligned and needs to change. I definitely feel once again, as I told you guys that you did have just everything <laughs> or it could have, you know, looked like you have everything in your previous life. Um, I do feel like you were quite rich in your previous life. Um, you could have even had your own company. Um, However, it was very like traditional, like in a very traditional way. I said you could have been teachers as well. And that's true because uh, this is a general reading. So it's for a lot of people. But as you can see, there was something that was just not, there was something that was missing. And the part that of you that was missing, I feel like it was this feminine energy that you're supposed to kind of like connect to more in this lifetime and get into spirituality more find yourself more reflect more spend a lot of time alone um that's also what i'm seeing align your life i feel like another thing that you guys were are meant to learn in this lifetime something that was connected with your previous life is patience we have the card fogged in, go slow, take time. And I do think that it's saying that everything that you have achieved in your previous life, it took a lot of patience. And I feel like that's something also that you guys have to learn in this lifetime. If you feel like you're not patient at all, you are supposed to ground yourself explore your roots as well that's another message that's coming through spend some time alone and understand that some things are coming very slow and that's okay so you guys also got the card council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms so this is saying that you guys were again extremely connected with your higher self with uh, your spirit guides with your ancestors and the same thing is happening in your life right now you have to embrace it more you have to connect you have to try i mean you don't have to do anything <laughs> that i'm telling you to do but you can and since you clicked on this reading i'm pretty sure you wanted to hear um you know some guidance so this is what i'm getting i feel like your ancestors your spirit guides are saying that they want to be more present in your life and in order for them to do that you have to allow them to do that Okay, so let's see what else we have. I'm going to shuffle some cards on the camera, guys. So you can see, we can see what kind of lesson you're supposed to learn in this life. Something that was connected with your, with your previous life. What is the lesson that group number two we're supposed to learn? Are supposed to learn in this? Okay. All right, so what do we have, guys? For you is the card, such a curious dream, grounding, <laughs> grounding, grounding. So definitely grounding yourself, being in them now, okay? Feminine energy, just enjoying the now. And yes, you do have leadership qualities. And yes, you do want to kind of like, you basically want more and more um, in this lifetime. I feel like you might be very impatient. So this is something that you guys are supposed to learn to ground yourself, to be in the now, to be in the reality and not constantly maybe be thinking about what's next or going back to the past and just thinking about what has happened in the past. A lot of messages are coming through. I hope you guys are resonating with them. And if you are, let me know down in the comments. I've never done such a reading. So, um, this is just it just feels like a little bit more heavier energy you know in comparison to the readings that i usually do <laughs> but anyway we also have um this card is also talking about being a dreamer being in your fantasy world and not kind of like doing a lot about it so 
um, another message for you is to to take the charge of a situation and know that you can achieve your goals because you know you already did in your previous lifetime you did achieve a lot of goals that you guys had for yourself however there was something missing and i feel like in this lifetime you definitely have a very big potential to make everything work out for you all right guys that's all that i got for you if you enjoy this give it a like subscribe to my channel check out one of my previous videos over here I do offer personal readings as well, so if you want me to focus on your specific energy, the link is in the description box. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey, group number three. So if you guys chose the card staying focused, this is your reading. We will find out what was happening in your previous life and what kind of lessons you are supposed to learn in this lifetime. All right, group number three. So I feel like for you guys, it's a little bit different than from, for the previous groups. I feel like your past life might be quite a reflection of your current life. Maybe it's because you wanted to live the same life again or you wanted to continue it because maybe your life just ended way too quickly and your soul wanted to still continue living uh, a similar life lifestyle in this lifetime. So let's talk about what was happening in your previous life. All right, guys, so this is giving me the vibes that you guys were very focused on yourself in your previous life. And I say that because I got the nine of pentacles. So this card is telling me that in the previous lifetime, you guys were creating your own success. You were working for yourself, probably, or you were just very focused on your individuality. It was something that was extremely important for you. I also feel like you guys could have been quite um, rich in your previous lifetime because I do see that um, you could have been traveling a lot in your previous lifetime with the three of wands. This is telling me that there was a lot of changes. Maybe you were moving a lot or you were maybe traveling because of your job as well. I also see that in your previous lifetime with the five of wands. Um, you guys were working in a very competitive field. Um, I feel like you could have been artists um, because I have a lot of cards that are signifying this to me. Um, we have the card Meditation for Creativity and if you look at the illustration, the imagery of this card, um, it's definitely showing uh, someone's creativity, it's showing an artist. Uh, trying a lot of different things out um, with a card change. It's telling me that you guys, uh, as I said, maybe you used to move a lot. You definitely had to like adapt to a different situation, places, people. Um, so there was like a constant movement, constant change in your life. You were very, you were staying very focused with the card that you guys chose, staying focused. You were very focused on your goals. I definitely feel like it was something very, very important to you. And with a higher fan, you were staying very committed to your vision, to the goal that you guys have set for yourself. Self-love is another card that is signifying to me um, that you guys were very focused on your individuality, on your on your persona. Uh, Dance with life, another card that is saying that you guys were very creative and you were embracing your creativity. Uh, do something to change your energy, dance with life. So you guys could have been dancers as well and you might have been traveling a lot. Maybe it's something that comes very easily to you in this lifetime as well. Being a dancer, being kind of like your own boss with the Nine of Pen Pentacles or an artist with a King of Cups and also the Meditation for Creativity. That's another card. We also got guys... Um, Pisces and Cancer so you might be Pisces and Cancer in this lifetime as well and that's just a confirmation that you guys chose the right pile if you're not don't worry if the rest of the cards are um, you know resonating with you very well um, I do think this is your pile anyway because this is the general reading so I'm pretty sure you guys chose correctly but yeah I definitely feel like you guys were very intuitive in the previous lifetime and in this lifetime you are very intuitive as well it's very easy for you also to tap into other people's energy and other people's feelings and intuition and, and emotions that's what I meant and I feel like a lot of people might be coming to you asking 
you for advice because you're giving very really good advices. People feel very drawn to you and your energy because they see that you are the real one. You are the, the true one, you know? It feels like they know that they can trust you. Even though, even though a lot of people don't know you, they still are coming to you to ask you for your advice. What would you, you do on the situation? Um, I also have the card Trust the Nickel. So another card that is signifying to me that you are very in tune with yourself. And in this lifetime, that me, might be the same. So guys, I said that you guys are a little bit different because... I do feel that you are supposed to live this kind of lifestyle as well in this life right now. That you really want to travel the world, uh, move, that you constantly guys are kind of like changing maybe your job, your perspective, um, you have different vision for yourself, but once you set the goal, you are going to achieve it. I really feel for you guys that this is something that is connected. Uh, this is something that you're supposed to do in this lifetime and it was connected with your previous life. But as I said, I feel like maybe it's because you didn't live for such a long time uh, in your previous life. That's why your soul just wanted to kind of like continue this kind of lifestyle. Another card, discovering the truth. Um, you stand in the light of truth. So this is just, look at the imagery. That's another card that is telling us about visiting different places, traveling, doing your own thing. Like this, this guy, he's going totally different way than uh, where the other people are pointing at. They are, this person is just doing the thing that they want to do. They're not following what other people tell them to do. Um, they are going on their own, own journey and not following the crowd. And I feel like this is you guys in this lifetime and this was you on your previous life as well. I also see with the Hierophant that you could have been very either religious or um, very spiritual in your life, in your previous life. And this is something that uh, might be resonating with you in this lifetime. I feel like something that you guys are supposed to learn though in this lifetime is to give yourself time to um, hibernation and regeneration. Give yourself time to take a break because I do think that as I said, you guys are constantly adapting, changing, and um, you have to give yourself some time to take a break, to take a breather and reflect. And this is something that maybe you were not giving yourself um, in your previous life. You were not allowing yourself to take some time off. All right, guys, so I'm gonna shuffle one card on the camera to see what is something that you're supposed to learn in this lifetime, something that is connected with your previous life. So let's see for group number three, something that they're supposed to learn in this lifetime. Group number three. Whoa. <laughs> okay, guys, we have the card. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Okay, so this is another card that's talking about individuality, being brave. Um, being courageous, knowing that you are very unique and you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. This is another reminder to follow your your truth and your path, your journey, not to follow the crowd because you are special and to value yourself more because there are not many like you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this reading. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Let me know how this resonated with you in the comments down below. Watch one of my previous videos over here. I do have a personal reading, so if you guys want me to focus on your specific energy, the link is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey, group number four. So if you guys chose the card Uncovering Truth, this is your reading. Let's find out how did your past life look like and what you're supposed to learn in this lifetime. Okay, group number four. So first of all, I want to take a look at the card that you guys chose, which is Uncovering Treasure. Um, and I want to check the guidebook for it. So I want to read to you what it says. Look beneath the surface in your life and you'll find treasure. Bounty is awaiting you in many forms. The secret is knowing that you deserve it and are worth worthy of it. 
Something that you thought was ordinary will turn out to be extraordinary. Take a second to look at the people and situations in your life. Sometimes receiving treasure is simply a matter of seeing life in a new way. The treasure was always there, you just didn't see it. <laughs> so I feel like it's quite important for you guys um, for this lifetime, lifetime. So let's talk about, first of all, how did your past life look like? So I'm gonna tell you group number four, I feel like you were quite popular or even famous in your previous life. And I say that because I got the six of wands. I do see that a lot of people were just kind of like, you know, in love with you, in love with your personality. You were very inspiring to a lot of people. A lot of people were looking up to you. Um, I do see with a card, which one would I okay this one <laughs> when I take this one with the eight of wands that your life was quite chaotic what I mean is that there was a lot of things going on because I do think that you guys um, were very popular or a lot of people were looking up to you or very inspiring maybe you were a motivational speaker maybe you were um, a singer song or writer <laughs> uh, with the air magic um, or you were uh, a poet you were uh, a writer I do see that with the air magic but yeah I do see that you guys were just very inspiring um, and you were not afraid to stand up for yourself to stand up for what you believe in for what for your ideas as well with a page of swords you had very high expectations for yourself but I do see that you did achieve so so many of your goals and dreams with the king of wands this is a person that is planning a lot but also uh, doing a lot taking action on their goals on their plans i do see with the imagery of this the king of wands here is pointing at the globe basically um at the earth i do think that you guys were kind of like popular all around the world a lot of people knew who you are and knew your name um and you were not afraid to conquer the world that's another that's another thing that i see uh, with a card two of pentacles this is telling me that you were balancing um different areas of your life so easily so easily guys you had that inner confidence um this card is also telling me that the money was coming to you from uh, a lot of different sources so i definitely don't think you had like one specific job i do think that you could have been you know for example a writer you could have been making money through writing a book, um, selling your book, but also later on through um, maybe, you know, copyrights <laughs> because of the book uh, or whatever it is. I do see that you guys got used to used to get money from a lot of different places, a lot of different sources. The Three of Wands is another card that is telling us um, that you were just not afraid to conquer the world. This is also my card, another card that is talking about um different countries different places kind of like you know the way she's looking down at um at the ocean at the water it just really makes me feel like you guys had such a high expectations um very kind of like dreams and goals that were very out there that you had huge really big dreams and i do think that you guys um, did achieve it so i think that what you guys are meant to learn in this lifetime that's why i was reading this card to you and the explanation of it is that you basically have to become more confident in yourself you have to know that you have already achieved all the goals that you have set for yourself in your previous life and in this lifetime you might be feeling unsure about yourself unsure about your ideas i feel like the first thing that you're supposed to learn is that you have to stand up for uh, what is your idea what is your vision for the future uh, your goals that you have you have to become more confident and um, sure of your abilities and your skills so you definitely have to um, kind of like make more effort in your life at the moment uh, right now and believe in the impossible. So I do think that you guys might be 
sometimes maybe skeptic about something or feeling like what me no i don't think i could achieve that or no this is this is this dream is way too big i don't think i can do that i feel like you guys are supposed to learn in this lifetime that everything is possible uh that you can make money through doing something that you are feeling very um, enthusiastic about something that feels like it's your calling we have a lot of threes and threes are very often talking about teamwork creativity and growth so i do see that the biggest thing that you guys are supposed to learn in this lifetime is how to stand up for yourself for your dreams uh, believe more in the impossible know that everything is possible know that you create your own reality and you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. Uh, prosperity lies ahead. You guys might be Taurus. If you are not, that's okay. But if you are, this is definitely confirmation for you that you chose the correct pile. But as I said, guys, if you're not, that's fine as well because uh, this is a general reading and it's for a lot of people. So a lot of different messages are coming through. Um, but yeah, we have the transformation card. So this one is also telling me that um, you're supposed to transform your life. Maybe your family situation was not allowing you to follow your dreams, to do what you're passionate about. Maybe you had to do what's more practical and that's why maybe you got a very practical job or you went to university to study something that you don't really want to study but it's going to bring a lot of money that's what i'm getting here guys it feels like you have to learn you're supposed to you don't have to you're supposed to learn in this lifetime that everything is possible because you already have done it in your previous life you achieved a very big success in your previous life through doing things that you want to do, through doing your passion. So I do think that there will be a huge transformation for you in this lifetime, guys. All right, so this card, guys, says you are in a time of huge transformation. All beliefs, ideas and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life. Oh, my God. I honestly haven't seen this before because this is a new deck. It's crazy how well it fits. Look at that. What you deserve in life, about what you deserve in life, are dropping away, replaced by incredibly, incredible vitality and new pathways. Soon you will experience you'll be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. This is crazy. I haven't seen this, but this fits so well here, guys. I feel like you will definitely go through a transformation like this. Maybe this video will make you realize it a little bit more, but I think that no matter no matter what I'm going to say here, no matter if you're going to get anything from this reading, if you're going to believe what I'm saying, believe the cards or feel like it's a coincidence, I feel like no matter what you will think after this reading, this transformation is going to come into your life anyway. So just a couple of more things that you are supposed to learn in this lifetime is to have boundaries. Where do you have to um, establish better boundaries? Because of the fact that you guys used to be very popular or even famous in your, life, in your previous life, um, I feel like a lot of people were... Um, very kind of like clingy or attached to you or wanted to be friends with you and you wanted to just make everyone happy so you were there for the public that's what I'm seeing I feel like in this lifetime you are supposed to learn where to establish better boundaries so um, what kind of people you allow into your life what kind of behavior is okay? What kind of behavior you're allowing around you? What kind of energy do you allow to be around you? Because the people that we surround ourselves with, that's the people that we become. So if you are spending a lot of time with a toxic person and you know this person is toxic, I don't think this is influencing you in any good way. And I think that you will realize that as well soon and you will feel like you don't have to be dealing with these people. That's just a message that came through. And one more card that we have for you guys and later on i will shuffle one more actually we have communication so this is just talking about just speaking your truth not saying things that other people want you to say but really standing up again for what your idea is for what you believe in 
and improving your communication skills. So what is my group number four supposed to learn in this lifetime? Uh, something that was connected with their previous life. Group number four. Okay, guys. All right, so we got the card for you, uncertainty. Choose who you will become. <laughs> definitely learning about being more confident in yourself finding that confidence in yourself and knowing that you can choose who you want to become you can do your passion full time you can do you know you can achieve any kind of goal that you want you will guys go through this transformation as i was talking about anyway so even if you are feeling uncertain right now about your life about yourself i do think that you guys will go through this huge transformation in your life because you were meant to go through this transformation thank you so much for watching this reading i know it was a little bit different but if you enjoyed us let me know down in comments how this resonated with you I do have a personal reading, so if you guys want me to focus on your specific energy, the link is in the description box for that as well. Take care, have a great day, bye!